let's finish up this whole lesson on polar coordinates. So now we're going to look at actually transforming equations. So from polar to rectangular form. So it says transform the equation r equals 4 sine theta. So certainly I can see that this is a polar equation because I have theta from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates and then um, identify the graph. So what I have is I start with this 4 sine theta. All right, if I multiply both sides by r, multiply by r, I get r squared equals 4r sine theta. And hopefully you see why I would do that, because this piece right here becomes y. And then, of course, this piece becomes x squared plus y squared equals 4y. Bring my 4 down. And then I can move the x squared plus y squared. I can move the 4y to the other side. And then I can do that whole, remember that completing the square? Oh, gosh. So completing the square is you take your b term divided by 2 and you square it when you have a quadratic, so ax squared plus bx plus c. So in other words, it's the term on just your variable. So in this case, I'm going to have x squared. I am not even messing with that. I'm only messing with my y's. So plus, let's just go ahead and put it in parentheses, y squared minus 4y plus b, which is 4 over 2 squared. Okay. And then I do the same. Hello. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I do the same thing to the other side. So I have to add 4 over 2 squared. Well, 4 over 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So x squared plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 4. And then, of course, this gives me x squared. The whole reason that you complete the square is so you can turn this into a perfect square. So y minus 2 squared equals 4. All right, well, if you remember, a circle is x squared plus y squared. So what this equation is, because it says identify the graph, would be a circle with, with center 0, 2. Where did she get 0, 2 from? Well, if it makes you feel good, we'll put that 0 right there. And then, of course, you should see the 2. And then with radius equals to 2, because remember, you want to square root that value. All right, so moving right along to the next example. The next one, transform an equation from rectangular. Now, I know this is rectangular because I see an x and a y to polar coordinates. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll, I'll put over here on the side as a reminder that the cat's coming back. And that's not a good spot. Could you please move, remove yourself? And y equals r sine theta. So lay down, Keith. So where I see an x, I'm going to plug in r cosine theta. And where I see a y, I'm going to plug in r sine theta. So that's all I've done. Of course, r times r is r squared. So 4r squared cosine theta sine theta equals 9. Now, from here, I'm going to factor out a 2r squared. So if I do that, that gives me 2 cosine theta sine theta. And you might say, but why would you do that? Because I remember identities. 
and this would be a double angle formula. So I end up here with 2r squared, and then my double angle, that would be sine of 2 theta equals 9. All right, so good job, right, with the cat in the way once again. So the last example is an actual application, and it talks about in Chicago, it says, um, move. The road system is set up like a Cartesian plane where streets are indicated by the number of blocks they are from Madison Street and State Street. So for example, Wrigley Field, woo, go Cubs, in Chicago is located at 1060 West Addison, which is 10 blocks west of State Street and 36 blocks north of Madison Street. So I can look at this on a map and treat the intersection of Madison and State Street as the origin. So, sorry, let me go back. Um, with, with my coordinate system and the east, of course, being my x-axis. So I can look at this and say, well, then what are the coordinates? Well, if this point, the intersection is zero, okay? So this said 10 blocks west and this said 36 blocks north. Then from here, I can say, well, I went negative, okay, because I went to the left, negative 10 and 36 would be my Y coordinate. So what I want to do from here is I want to actually transform this into my rectangular coordinates, which I just said are negative 10, 36. I want to know what do these equal in polar. All right, so I have to find r. I find r by x squared plus y squared, and then of course square root. And I will tell you, just throwing that in a calculator, I got 37.36, so that's my r. And then noticing that if I graph this, this is actually negative 10 and then 36 up here somewhere. So I can see that my theta, since I'm in quadrant two, I'm going to have to do the pi plus my tangent inverse of my y over my x. And again, throwing that in a calculator, I got 105.5 degrees. So my polar coordinate would be 37.36 and 105.5 degrees. Good job. And that ends this section. See you on the downslide.